How strange! This hospital garden demands a caring hand. You seem to like what you do. Like it? I love plants and know them well. I spent my life dealing in bloodshed. Now's my chance for peace and quiet. Bloodshed? It's no point of pride, but I long earned my living as a mercenary. Those times are behind me now, and here I am, content. I'm more interested in silver swords. I knew one of you would come by, eventually. You lost it playing dice? I was sure I'd win. Beware the sharp one plays well. Where did you get this sword? Five years ago, there was a battle near Brenner. When the dust had settled, our men had beaten the Nilfgaardians. We ceased to call ourselves an Imperial Province that day. You captured the sword during the battle? Yes. It was Witcher Cohen's. A strapping fellow and a rare breed. Not very talkative, mind you. Like most of us. I gave my word the sword would find another Witcher. As he lay dying, he mumbled about teeth and destiny. Then he laughed at his own death. Yet you lost it gambling? I kept it hidden for five years. I lost hope I'd ever run into another Witcher. Miss Shani knew Cohen. She works at the hospital. Thanks. Good luck on the path. I'm here about the notice. You look like a warrior. Care to kill Echinops for me? Certainly. Bring their thorns as proof. What do you want? Greetings, dwarf. Racial segregation with the first words uttered. What do you want me to call you? Bah! You're like everyone else. Like the whole accursed city. Vizima humans get everything we get not. I neither live in Vizima, nor am I human. What then? A witcher. A mutant. Well, in that case, sorry. I'm Golan Vivaldi. My cousin Vimy Vivaldi once met a witcher. A debt collector, apparently. I'm Geralt, and I'm no debt collector. What brings you here? I hope you recover your assets. That bank has belonged to my family for ages, and now some human. You call this justice? I'm looking for the leader of a certain organization. You suspect me because I'm a dwarf? Sorry I suspected you. I know you've lost control of your bank. Kind to be so frank with a dwarf. Any time. I have information about Javid that might be useful. Even the smallest details sometimes are. I saw his name in old files. He paid tuition at the sorcerer school in Barnard. He was expelled after taking an interest in dark magic. He stopped paying tuition and that was the last trace of him in our system. You're dealing with a renegade, and a dangerous one at that. <laughs> Yes? I've won a few poker rounds already. Congratulations! You're a virgin no more. Now you'll play for real. Where do I find these famed Vizeman poker players? Where you find all other things illegal. Near the hairy bear. This might get interesting. Don't be surprised if someone doesn't want to play with you. Real bigwigs will only deal with professionals. And a professional is... One who wins at least four professional games. Do that and you'll be welcome at every table. I need to beat four professionals. Breeze. Fighting or what? How are things, Geralt? Anyone play dice here? I play professionally, I'd say. Care for a game? 
Sure, we'll see if there's truth to the rumors about you. Whenever. Even now. You gamble? I'm an absolutely fucking lootly great poker player. Why? Care to play? Got balls enough? Try me. Better believe I fucking will. Even now. I'm all ears, White Wolf. They've moved the prisoner to the hospital. All the better. There'll be fewer guards there. They'll still be watching him. You could talk to them at night. No witnesses. I'll think about it. What you want, freak? I have some questions. You haven't the faintest idea who you're talking to, freak. One word and before you count to three, you'll be facing a dozen hardened assassins. You'll be dead before you count to three. Well, the cub growls, but does it bite? I could use someone for wet work. I despise your kind. Contempt, wolf cub, is the privilege of the prudent. In all others, it's a sign of youth and ignorance. I piss on your juvenile scorn. What do you want? I've been to Taller's place. Found a few things there. Belong to someone I've been looking for. Yeah. So what? They belong to a Witcher. How'd you get them? We found them. Your friend was in trouble. Scheming with Salamandra. Ask the people in the swamp. That's where we found those trinkets. The town cemetery. The dead and undead await behind that gate. Plenty of work for a witcher. Will it be pine or oak, perhaps? An entire crypt? Let's see, five hours wide. What are you talking about? Why would you come to a grave digger? So I ask you, who will you be burying? Fear not, my prices are reasonable. I'm here for another reason. You should plan ahead. Very well. What is it you want? I'm here about the notice. Yes? I understand you need six jugs of dog's lard. I want you to cull as many mutts as possible. Bring me the lard as proof. Why is the cemetery shut? Because the dead refuse to rest in peace. Fear not. They stay in their graves in sunlight. Someone should tend to them, though. Perhaps someone will offer a reward, but for now, no one seems bothered. I'll deal with it when you agree to pay me. For now, farewell. Think putting a dead body to rest is easy? Do what you will. Perhaps the watch captain will reward you. Won't hurt to check. What do you need? Farewell. Finally, the Witcher Geralt answers my call. We meet again. I need your help again. With what? A grave matter. Something that could prove a milestone in alchemy. Connected to your profession, too. Tell me more. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. You had a job. Help me fulfill my life's work. A tower stands in the forest swamp near Old Vizima. A princess up top, dragon below? Thanks, but I'll pass. Silence, please. Legend says a mage and alchemist built the tower. No princesses or dragons. So what's my job? The mage died ages ago, and the tower was forgotten. The power within it attracted and deformed nearby creatures. In short, it breeds monsters? Precisely. I want to examine that source, Witcher. 
and write a dissertation certain to immortalize my name. I'll have access to secrets that have been hidden away in that tower for years. Unfortunately, the tower is locked. I'll pay 1,000 orans to whoever helps me get inside. I'll see what I can do, though I'm sure this won't be easy. Were it easy, I'd not need you. Breaking into a powerful mage's lab is complicated. We must gather detailed information on the tower. Where do I find it? In the tales and legends recounted by elders and swamp folk. In old books, too. Recorded wisdom is infinitely more reliable. Any specific titles in mind? Ransant Alvaro's The Secret Gates and an alchemy treatise, Ain Sof Hour. I know a certain dwarf had a copy of The Secret Gates. The second book, written by an anonymous gnome, was lost long ago and could be hard to find. While you search for these, you can test my newest invention. A crystal that links places of power and my workshop. It will allow you to teleport, disintegrating your being into billions of pieces that travel beyond the time-space curve. And then it'll reassemble my being in your lab? Sure about this? There is some chance of error, but it's minuscule. Might Rubido be better? Bridge. What do you want? I'm looking for a book on the Swamp Tower. All right, yeah. Hmm. A passage in Alvaro's The Secret Gates focuses on magic towers. This particular tower? Yeah, he describes its history too. I'll take it. Sadly, I don't have it. I've been trying for years to acquire the volume from Golan Vivaldi, but he is a stubborn dwarf. You try. Perhaps he'll sell it to you. Know anything else? I just remembered another book about the tower. I'm listening. Ain Safar, an alchemy treatise by gnomes. Difficult to find, but a certain hermit in the swamp might know something. Thanks for the advice. What brings you here? Do you have a copy of the Secret Gates? I do, but I'm unwilling to part with it. I insist. Just give me a price. So be it. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. About the tower. Yes? I have new information on the tower. Tell me quickly. Before this tower, the mage erected two others, but both collapsed. This one served as his house and lab. I knew that. Anything more? The mage lived there until he disappeared, most likely dead. He constructed clay golems that served him, but hardly seemed a major achievement. That would agree with the legends of the sentry. There are ten cornerstones involving the elements and threads of fate from which all this was born. Sephiroth! So the old scrolls are true! One book contained hints of the stone's whereabouts. We must find all ten Sephiroth. I own one of them, Chokma, the Stone of Wisdom. I suppose I'm to find the others? Yes. Near the tower, you'll find a circle of stone obelisks. When you have all ten Sephiroth, place them on the obelisks. Ah, so close. What a breakthrough. I'll abolish the theory of those stuffy professors in Oxenfort. I'll destroy them, smash them. Kalkstein, don't get worked up until I find the stones, which won't be easy. The information in these books is murky at best. Sorry, could you show me these books? I'll make notes for you. Here. There you are. No sign of Javed or the Professor. This bunch should cave easily. Let's do this. I'm sleepy. Who's this? This wasn't our deal, cop! Relax. Just a witcher. Surely you know witchers are golems. No will of their own. Follow orders quick and easy. No complaints. Right, Geralt? Right. See? 
Nothing to be afraid of. You didn't exactly come alone. Now let's deal. I don't trust him. Heard he was a fucking murderer, cut up over a dozen of our people. Let's not play who killed who. That's the past. We're interested in the future. Your future. Which will be unpleasant if Javed learns you cheated him. And believe me, he'll learn shortly if you don't start talking. You bluffing? You don't scare me? Enough. Where's Javed? Where are the Witcher's secrets? Spit it out before I feed you to the rats. Vincent, stop him! I know nothing! I was assistant to Salamandra's accountant. Javed stopped trusting me. I don't know where he is or what he intends. The professor? I, I don't know. He went off somewhere. Bullshit. You need encouragement. You promised me protection in exchange for my testimony. On my mother's grave, I know nothing! Stop him! You're a cop! This is murder! You, you're gonna stand by and watch? No. I'm leaving. Besides, I know you had a part in murdering Raymond's family. Witcher, make it quick. I'll kill you like a dog! Stay away from the prisoner. But I paid you. Uh, Shh, he's talking. Uh, Kalkstein, he... He's passed out, shove off. There's a commotion in the corridor. Bloody thugs. Ramsmeat sent them. Something. Does Shani live here? She's busy cleaning and doesn't have time for vagabonds. I have an appointment. Didn't your mother teach you better manners? She'd not forgive herself for raising such a monster. But... You're dead. I don't recall inviting you, but come in. I'm not entertaining anybody right now. Entertaining? It's my birthday. What have you brought? I was admiring those lovely golden gloves.
I don't recall inviting you, but come in. I'm not entertaining anybody right now. I'm here to see Shani. Get out! Stomp! But... Welcome, dear. Do have a cup and keep an old woman company. Oh, you're getting old, Granny. What? You drunk! Not true. Out! Don't let me see you again! What she want? Say something! I'm here to see Shani. They send you from the hospital? You certainly look ill. Gods are punishing you. Yes, I'm from the hospital. You can go upstairs. Just don't force yourself on the girl. Finally, you found me. Looks like it. How'd you get past the old hag? That nice lady downstairs? She's made my life hell. Old people are like that. At least my rent is low. Doctors earn little in Tamaria. Many leave. You stayed. Someone had to. Anyway. Yes? Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm-hmm. I heard you saw Cohen shortly before he died. That's right. How did you know? I found his sword. He died during the battle at Brenna, on my operating table. You were a medic at Brenna? I worked alongside a surgeon named Rusty, best doctor I ever knew. Knew? He died when the Catriona Plague erupted, in Maribor. Though a halfling, he could operate like no one else. He made everything seem simple. Stitch red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, and everything will be all right. Ah, you wouldn't understand. Sorry, Shani, I didn't know him. Do you know anything about this sword? No, but you should ask the dwarf, Sultan Chive. His knowledge of weapons is unmatched. Yes? Shani. I wanted to talk. What is it? Sometimes I dream about the Battle of Brenna, the massacre. I'm sorry. But that's it. I'm not sorry. I wake up refreshed and it's like I'm used to suffering. Does that make sense? It does. Thanks. Sometimes it's good to share. Don't mention it. I'm all ears, White Wolf. So, I got to the prisoner. He spill anything? Didn't have time. Ramsmeet's men attacked. You sure? Strange. Ramsmeet wants Salamandra gone. Unless something I don't know about has occurred. Javed might have scared him. Or paid him off. Something to check. Did you get anything out of the prisoner? One word. Kalkstein. Makes sense. Kalkstein's known to be a talented alchemist. He could be helping Jarved with his experiments. I've met Kalkstein. He didn't look the criminal. That might be true, but we need to check all our leads. Let's get to work. I'll ask around town, talk to my contacts. You keep an eye on Kalkstein. Gain his trust. Get to know his plans and secrets. How do you want to proceed? Patience. This is just like fishing. I prefer hunting. Then gain Kalkstein's trust. Do him a favor. Learn something that interests him. You could get him to hire you. And talk to Ramsmeat, but don't overdo it. There's one with a short temper. What do you want, Wolf? Ever seen the Salamandra sign? I've seen a lot. Have a problem with that? 
Best tell me all you know. The name Azar mean anything? I have a rule. Before I slit someone's throat, I give them some advice. Never threaten me. Make sure you remember that. I mean, image is everything, right? I need to talk to you about Salamandra. Why did you contact Witcher Berengar? What's it to you? He was my brother. Take a good look. Do I seem like a whore to you? Actually, no one talks to me like that in my house. Get out. Your people attacked me at the hospital. You cracked? I sent them there to bring back one of ours. Why don't I believe you? I don't give a red ass. In that case, let's call it a misunderstanding. Sorry about your boys. Pity. Life's a bitch, then you die. Now, if you shove off, I got some deals to tend to. I'm short on proof, so let's say I leave you alone for now. Thanks a lot. But you'll allow me not to fall at your feet. If you do happen to find Javed, I'll be glad to hear about it. And if you find any of his underlings, I wouldn't mind having a chat with them, too. Geralt, we need to talk. What is it? Some people died at the hospital. Were you involved? Explain yourself. I wanted to question a prisoner, one of your patients, but thugs interrupted us. It was their bodies the guard discovered later. Hmm. I'll tell you what I overheard. The prisoner will be transported to a safe location. Thanks, Shani, for understanding. Just watching out for you. See ya. How did things go at the warehouse once I left? Quickly. Good. I admit I was hoping for a bit more, but it's always a few bandits less. That's the last time you use me. I'm not a general Avenger. Had no choice, believe me. It won't happen again. You have my word. I guess you plan to continue the investigation. Don't have a choice. I can't help officially, but I'll leave you to it. Anything you learn, I'd be glad to hear. I wanted to talk to you about Salamandra. Okay. Someone informed them about my cockatrice contract. What are you suggesting? The Professor, after you released him. I got no time. End of conversation. You let the Professor out of prison. His bail was paid. That's the law. I get it. Observe the law at all costs. What do you do, Knights? Meet your boss, Azar Javed? Nothing unnatural about spending nights in the trade quarter. I see. I've got no real proof, so I'll have to wait to decide. Sounds like your mountain has turned into a molehill. That's what happens when amateurs try their hand at serious work. If you stumble upon any real leads, come by. I'll give you some useful advice. Geralt! Good to see you. Where are you going? To the dike. No passage. Captain forbids it. Why? Captain's orders. Talk to him. Gentlemen, that's no way to treat a hero. Geralt, the witcher that saved Vizima from a terrible cockatrice. A hero? Well, that changes things. He's almost one of us. In that case, please pass, Master Geralt. We'll drink your health at the inn. Thanks, Siegfried. A surprise in the sewers. A night of the flaming rose. Soaked in stench from head to foot. I usually work alone, but this was an opportunity to see a knight in action. I must say he did rather well for a human. That was rare gratitude he showed.
little fornication? Nothing personal against witches. Merchants complain of drowners, but we risk our necks. Gods, grant me patience. You again? They let you into town? Are you Luvadin? I am. Let's talk. Yes? I heard creatures threaten the transport of goods. Yes, I assume you're not asking for curiosity's sake. I'm hoping someone will pay for their removal. I may. The dog by the swamp is crucial to my business. The creatures have caused me losses. What are the beasts like? Drowners. They emerge at night, destroying goods and murdering carriers. I'll pay 400 orans to be rid of them. A pleasure doing business. Indeed. Let's talk. Yes? I seek the Sephiroth stones. I haven't yet located them all. I thought you might know such art and oddities. I once purchased one for its magical potential, which turned out false. And I paid a major costly sum for the examination. Then would you sell it to me? Sell my Tiparath? <laughs> I'm rather fond of it. I'll give you a good price. Five hundred orns? I didn't think it was worth so much. But all right. I wear Tiparath as an amulet. We can deal right now. I have 500 orans, though it's quite a price to pay for a stone. I sadly relinquish it, but my reputation would suffer, as would my business, if I did not deal. The Sephira is yours. Transport services at the best prices. Take me to the other side. Times are wasting. Made up your mind? Ready to go? How many times are you going to ask me that? To the swamp. Vapors Do you need a boat? And wet feet. That's all I'll find here. Who wishes to cross? Who are you? A witcher. Well, well. I thought Leo Bonhart had disposed of your kind. Never heard of him. Nor will you again. We all, in this profession, eventually meet someone better than us. And what profession is that? Bounty hunter. What brings you here? I'm here about the notice. Finally. Got the hides? I'll return when I have the pelts. I'll be here. Who was Bonhart? Old Leo was a legend. In some ways, he was like you. He killed without emotion. Just like you would kill a... a lame drowner. He was the best. Tall, slim, and... One gaze from those empty eyes could break a man. Was he a mage? No. He slew some witchers. Those who riled the peasants. Magic tricks and witchers' reflexes proved useless against him. But he's dead. As they say, he hit a harder rock than he was himself. Yes. Take care, witcher. Farewell. Hello, son. I'm not your son, Gramps. <laughs> you guess my name. They call me Gramps around here. They call me all kinds of things. Mostly Geralt, or Scabbed Freak. Well, people exaggerate. I don't see many scabs. <laughs> no offense. None taken. 
but I'm likely to earn some trekking through this swamp. Yes? I'm looking for work. Ah, swords. I suspect I know the type of work you seek. Perhaps you could escort me to the chapel for my prayers. I'm old and no longer good at driving monsters off with my staff. I was thinking about paying work, but all right, I'll take you there. Looks like a brickmaker's village. Three islands they call this place. A plant called Celandine flourishes here. You know about herbs? Well, I'm no herbalist, but I read much in my youth. For example, two doses of Celandine combined with nasen salts produces a bomb that instills magic fear. Useful. Hordes of Bloodswiggers inhabit the swamp. If you can get two doses of their blood, mix it with abomination lymph and echinop spores, you create a potion that druids call Maribor Forest. Know any other uses for herbs? Damnable old age. I may remember later. Thank you, son. I'm not your son. I like you. Visit me sometime. I'll show you my books, serve you some tea, and goulash. You're a witcher, yes? I'm another of your kind recently, but he lacked courtesy. He demanded to know about the Circle of Elements. Another witcher? What can you tell me about him? Well, not much, son. He wanted about asking questions, and looking like one with a sour stomach. I'm not so interested in that. Yeah, I know, I know. He feared something, or someone. Spent most of his time near the pits where those village idiots burrow in clay. Thanks, Gramps. That helps. Three women. This reminds me of something. There's an altar at the base. Good omen. Bop, bop, bop. Greetings. Bop, bop. Greeting, my lord. Greeting. What's with you? Well, not now, but when I was six, a brick fell on my head. I was playing a game where you toss a brick in the air, counted five, and ran so the brick wouldn't bop you. I never was good at counting. They say the brick made me stupid. Bop, bop. Mm hmm. If you need help getting somewhere, you come to the right place. See, I never get lost. Bop, bop, bop. Then this must be my lucky day. Tell me about the swamp. Uh, 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 the swamp's wide and deep, with mosquitoes up your arse. Oh, they've been stinging lately. Who lives here? Living here, we got druids, brick-makers, lumberjacks, monsters, and mosquitoes. That's who. Bah, bah, bah. Mm. Bah, bah, bah. What do you want to hear about? Tell me about the brick-makers. Brickmakers is us. Ba, 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 just there. Straight on and there's the village. That's where you'll find the elders who you need to oblige. We make bricks. Ba, ba, ba. Anything else you likes to know? Where are the lumberjacks? Ba, ba, ba. Lumberjacks sticks to where they logs. Where else would they sticks? So where exactly do they log? Should have said that from the start. Ba, ba, ba. South of the Brickamaker's village. Best follow that path past the Orid Cave till you see stumps. How about monsters? Ba, ba, ba. We got monsters and many. Will o' wisps and mammons that keep a decent Brickamaker from getting home when he's a bit tipsy. We got wind wraiths and brownies with their little red caps. Anything else? Else we got mosquitoes. Ba, ba, ba. Did I hear you mention mosquitoes? Damn buzzing bloodsuckers! There's more of a year. You'll find that most by the tower. The tower? 
Yeah, if you go straight west and then south by the hut, you're sure to reach the Meiji's Tower. <sighs> but it's shut, and there's nothing but blasted mosquitoes and some geelongs there. Where will I find the druids? Ah, that's the furthest nook in the forest. With beautiful trees and wild beasts sitting with druids. That'll be straight southwest, but you need to pass the loggers or take another path. Hard to say what. Ba, ba, ba. Farewell. A traveller from distant lands. He has lost something he now seeks. What shall I call you? Vaska, the village Eldress. Geralt, Witcher. What do the villagers do? We mine clay and produce bricks. I see none working. Hard times. Speak. What do witches do? We solve problems. Want to ask something? Has another witcher been here? Berengar? He has. Asking different questions about those alchemies. The alchemist Kolkstein must have sent him. Then we happened upon his gear in a clay pit, covered in blood. Thanks, Vaska. White-haired one. There were signs of fighting there, and not with monsters. He was attacked by men. Beware of flaming lizards and dry ones. I need you alive. Do you have monster problems? Indeed. Creatures have made nests in the clay pits. What are they like? As if drowned, then resurrected. Drowners. I can finish them. We're poor folks. I can pay no more than fifty orins. That's enough. Where are they? Towards the landing, but take the other road at the fork. At its end, you'll spot our tormentors. The lords are coming. Shove off. Who is above the lords? What is this crap?
Want to ask something? I've killed the drowners. You showed us mercy, yet I deceived you. I can offer no money, but you cannot leave unrewarded. Take this amulet. It's Kezath, the symbol of mercy. Will do. Wonderful. Now we prepare for the coming of the lords. Who are these lords? We worship them and receive the grace of those from the Eternal Deep. I keep thinking of the fish people, Vodunoi. How dare you! Those names offend the lords! Nod human bones? Brains? I'm gonna puke. This should be my home. Is that skull and brain human? Yes. And the meat? That too. Plates. A mug. That don't get agitated. Listen to my reasons. What reasons might a cannibal have? You look pale. Care to eat something? You don't deserve to live. Well, you, you can always kill me, but I'm, I'm of greater use alive. I have vast knowledge and I know this swamp well. I could be of assistance to you. Die, monster.
Listen, I've received news that my children in Vizima have fallen sick. I'd like to go back and be with them, but that means I wouldn't make enough for us to survive the winter. So I'd really like to sell some of my old stuff before I go. Interested? Show me what you have. Well, nothing special. A piece of red ore, a flask of alcohol and a silver ring I inherited from my father. I can throw in a formula for truly reliable hangover medicine. All this for only 200 orins. So it's a deal. Give my greetings to the children. You can be sure I will. God's bless. 5,000 ewes in three months? My ass. Impossible. Even working nights. Schedule schmedules. Who are you? Geralt the Witcher, a friend. And we'll see. And you? Yaren, I speak for the lumberjacks. Can we talk? Speak. Are you responsible for the logging? No, we scare off woodpeckers. Of course we're responsible, we're lumberjacks. Work for yourselves or someone else? We're independent, though we secure orders from merchants like Luvarden. We get weeks of work and a decent return. You the chief lumberjack? Yes. Without me, these lazy lads wouldn't know when to piss. Him with a moustache. No matter what I do, he still pisses in his boots. I see you keep a tight rein. With danger around, you need discipline. I rule with an iron fist so they can return home safely. Most will. Get along with the locals? Nothing but a bunch of deviants. The brickmakers babble about their lords and the underwater world, and the druids don't like the trees being felled. Any jobs for a witcher? Despite the danger, the beasts leave us alone. So nothing? Perhaps. For someone willing to take a risk. I'm listening. But the begatic plant should be blooming in the swamp. I understand it's valuable. The drug it makes is. Collect some blossoms and we could both earn a little. I wade through mud, face danger, then we split the profit? You don't know what begat it looks like, nor where to sell it. Okay, let's play herbalist. Great. Begat it blossoms look like red orchids. Clumps grow throughout the swamp. Sell them to the ferryman. Ask those living in the swamp if you can't find any. I'll deliver the flowers to the ferryman as soon as I find them. Huge trees, strange mm. symbols, tamed beasts, even a dryad. This must be the Druid's Grove. Looks like this tower collapsed on its own. I guess the swamp's not the best place for buildings this big. Odd place. Looks like these giants froze mid-motion. Must have been some time ago. Welcome to the Druid's Grove, Traveller. Greetings. Marvellous place. I come here when I need to think, and the peacefulness helps clear my mind. Even a Witcher is welcome here. One more word about my accepting my otherness and finding the home I never had and I'll cry like a baby. Sarcasm only serves to expose your inhibitions. Ooh, an elven psychoanalyst. I spent decades among humans. I find your kind as complicated as the schematics of a flail. Decades? Live that long among humans, you're bound to become more like them than you ever wanted to be. Are you speaking from experience, Monster Slayer? A sharp wit. I'm Geralt. My name's Yaven. Let's talk. Yes. What can you tell me about your kind? What makes you elves tick? Hmm. Let us pray beneath the trees, for the trampled heather, for blood that has been shed, for fate that has been destroyed. I'm not sure I'm understanding this. For death inflicted by sword, for the pain of others and our own. See you later. Adieu, La Paz. What do you seek? You bother me. What do you mean? Some of our greatest died combating humans. First when your kind arrived in these lands, then recently when we again concluded we couldn't abide mankind's tyranny. Have you seen Fenuwed flowers? You couldn't find one because you can't distinguish it from common plants. You're blinded by hatred. I've picked Fenuwed. 
Show me. I sense it will be something amusing. You do know Fenowed. I thought wrongly about you. Not entirely. I know few of the local plants. I can describe Burmarigold. What is it? I'm here about the notice. Finally. Got the hides? I do. Ten wolf pelts. Wonderful. The title of Royal Jägermeister will be mine. Else, I'll become a mercenary. Farewell. What do you want? Yaren sends his greetings. I have the herbs. Finally! Here, five beggar tick blossoms, as agreed. Four hundred orans, and give my best to Yaren. I'll be sure to. What do you want? I'll find you later. Speak. The ferryman paid me for the herbs. About time. Here's your share. Real pleasure doing business, Witcher. Likewise, Yaren. Speak. Godspeed. What do you want? Take me to the other side. Time is money. Made up your mind. Ready to go? I wouldn't have paid you otherwise. Take me to town. All falls on me to do. A little fornication? Yes? The dock is safe now. I knew you'd do it. Here's your payment. Thanks. Farewell. Thanks, Geralt. You saved my life. The bastards snuck in here. Somehow they found out I'm after them. Who? What happened? Salamandra. I was a step away from solving the mystery. One small step. Relax, Raymond. You're safe now. Not likely. They're following me day and night. I gotta find a way to lose them. What do we do? I'll set a false trail. You question the new suspects. Who? Here, take these notes. They list all the key leads. What do you intend to do? They're on my heels, so I've got to disappear. I'll draw them away while you pursue the investigation. I'll find you, White Wolf. Yes? What do you know about my silver sword? What, me? A simple dwarf? Shani insisted your knowledge of weapons is unequaled. All right. Silver-plated blade. A steel core. Suited to a two-handed grip. Decent workmanship, not perfect. I don't know runes for shit. Thanks. No problem. Got a minute? What's eating you? I warn you, some philosophies involved. The meaning of life, eh? The evil that witchers fight stems from chaos. From actions aimed at disturbing order. For where evil spreads, order cannot be established. Instead of the light of wisdom, the glimmer of hope, and the glow of warmth, darkness ensues. And in darkness you find nothing but blood, fangs, and claws. Like in the outskirts. 
Nicely put, but as young Cero said to King Verdank on their first date, does it have any practical uses? The right of witches to live and function in this world has fallen out of balance, because the struggle between good and evil now plays out on a different battlefield with different rules. Evil has ceased being chaotic. No longer a blind elemental power, evil follows rules according to the rights it's been granted. It functions in line with treaties. That's progress. With more of us living longer, we can slaughter one another in the thousands. Progress is like a herd of pigs. The herd brings many benefits, but no one should wonder at all the shit. Shit or no shit, witchers exist to slay monsters. How can I when the real monsters hide behind ideals, faith, or the law? The biggest evil is moral relativity, which kills more than the Catriona Plague and dragons combined. Witchers will always be needed, no matter where that pig heart leads us. Thanks, Sultan. What is it, Witcher? I killed the Archospore in the swamp. I have proof. What the hell is this? Huh. The hideous things that roam this earth. That's 400 Oren's reward. Many problems in town? Bandits, monsters, the plague, and you. Right. What is it, Witcher? See ya. Look how they grow. I'm here about the notice. You look like a warrior. Care to kill Echinops for me? Certainly. Bring their thorns as proof. Transport services at the best prices. I got lost in thought. I'm here about the notice. You have Al Ghul Maro for me? Yes, three fresh doses. Splendid! Take this gold. Mr. Marlowe sent me. What's happening? Raymond said he has some new information. Come to his house as soon as you can. Thanks for the message. Welcome, you won't believe what happened. Tell me. Not so fast. Remember, I have expenses. How much do I owe you? Two hundred Aurens. This investigation is getting expensive. I'm not the Prophet Labiota. I can't live on roots and berries. Neither can my informers. I guarantee you these are the bare necessities. All right. Two hundred Aurens. Down to business. They transferred the prisoner after the attack. Not good. Especially since we won't get anything else out of him. He died last night. How did that happen? Well, he wasn't in great shape, so I guess it's no surprise. But I have a feeling... Someone helped him along? Exactly. Shani is a good friend of yours, right? Ask her to do an autopsy. Once we know the cause of death... Wait a minute. Are you spying on me? That's my job. See you later. going no one teach you manners I'm here to see Shani 
sits in a room entertaining guests and pays next to nothing in rent! <coughs> Poor kitten, her mother can't even afford food for her. I don't dare feed her the medic's food. She'll likely fall sick. <coughs> Will you take pity on the kitty? Upstairs, my prince! Yes? Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm-hmm. I need your help with an autopsy. An autopsy? Since when do you deal with stuff like that? Since I started investigating Salamandra. Okay, though, I'm no coroner. You'll have to interpret our findings. We'll meet in the evening. Until then, gather as many clues as possible. I'll sniff around. Get the body from the grave digger. We'll meet at the hospital in the evening. How do I find information to help the autopsy? Ask Vincent Mice, but also look for books on anatomy and pathology. Farewell. Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the Order. I hadn't really thought about it. I'm here about the notice. I suspected it would interest you. Have you proof of slaying ten drowners? Here are their tongues. Wait, I must record this. Ten drowners. Good. Here's your gold. What do you need? A prisoner died recently. Is he in the cemetery already? Don't know. You can have another body. They all reek the same. I'm after a specific corpse. Particular. Come back when you know what you want. Examining remains is an art. Always worthwhile to look deeper. But who does that concern? You seem to know a lot about the deaths in the city. Ever help with investigations? Sometimes I inform Raymond about the more interesting dead men. Maybe you can tell me, too. No. I promise to keep quiet. I see. What do you need? Could you hand over the prisoner's body for an autopsy? For a bottle of dwarven liquor. Nothing like a good drink. About the prisoner. Where you want the body dumped? At the hospital. It'll be there by evening. Farewell. Ready for the autopsy? Let's get started. Race, human. Gender, male. Wounds, extensive. Shani, this isn't a lecture hall. Whatever you say. He died yesterday, torn to pieces. Could a human have inflicted these wounds? Only with a two-foot jaw. The bone marrow has been sucked out. Must be scavengers. Very likely. Plenty around the cemetery. So, he was torn to pieces after he died. I'm interested in the cause of death. I also see some stab wounds. A blade... two fingers wide. External signs aren't everything. His neck muscles and palms look tense. How do you know when he died? Normally I base it on muscle stiffness and dehydration, but rigor mortis is persisting for too long. They say successful autopsies are based on curiosity. Should we look? Let's check his internal organs. The symptoms are peculiar, and the cause of death, too. Those wounds are too obvious. I suspect something more. Poison? If so, a rare sort. Perhaps an alchemist's brew. Kolkstein? Ah! Liver's completely cirrhotic. It was obviously a potent poison. This stinks of alchemy. Any way to confirm that? Yes, alchemist's poisons usually cause certain characteristic changes. 
Then let's check for those. Look, the tongue was crudely extracted, but not all the blackened tissue was removed. Blackened? Yes, the poison caused necrosis of the tongue, so the murderer removed it. So we're certain a gifted alchemist is the murderer. A gifted alchemist? Who's a crappy surgeon? Kalkstein. He wanted to implicate the bandits, but he failed to foresee a professional autopsy. Thanks, Shani. That's the evidence I needed. Good. I'm exhausted. Yes? I have the autopsy results. And? I'm certain it was Kalkstein. How do you know? The liver was cirrhotic. The stab wounds were just a clumsy attempt to hide the real reason. So, poison after all. But how can you be sure it was Kalkstein? Changes in the eyeballs, typical of alchemical poisons. I see you did your homework. I sure did. Come back later. I need to analyze this information. Hello, precious. Do go upstairs. Old age is no gem. Yes? You need any help? I'd like to ask a favor. I'm listening. Remember Dandelion? Well, we're trying to organize a gathering. A gathering? To reminisce, have a few drinks. However... Lacking the drinks? You guessed it. And I don't want to serve just anything. What do you need? Cherry vodka for Dandelion, rosé wine for me, and something for you. I'll try. No changes. Ugh, how can they drink this? What is it anyway? I suppose it's wine. Wine? Couldn't pass for wine stepbrother. So what is it? Ugh, diluted dog's piss. Thus, I come here rarely. I thought this was the only tavern around. I live in the trade quarter, but the inns there are closed. Wanna earn some coin? You mentioned you might have a job for me. Care to elaborate? I know where to find fine spirit, but it requires a sword to get it. You need a warrior to have a drink? I know a place with hundred-year-old wine from Toussaint. What's the catch? The wine cellar is in a house where monsters now haunt. It'll cost 200 orins. Deal. I'll return here at midnight. Where's the house? Take the gate leading to the dike. On the right, it leads to the canal. The house is on the left. Yes? It wasn't easy, but I managed. Splendid. I have no coin, though. Drank it all away. I'll keep one bottle. You take the rest for your toil. Fine. I knew you to be a decent man. Yes? I brought some liquor. Splendid. Bring a friend. See you at the party. Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the Order. Not now, Siegfried. Listen, Shani is throwing a little party. When? In the evening. Come if you feel like it. I shall certainly attend. <laughs> <laughs> 